During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about ethanol, and specifically corn ethanol, what part of the kernel is actually used and what part is left over. Well, we're standing in some corn stubble today, and I, I think about cellulosic ethanol, that someday that may be a bigger portion of this, where we're actually using some of the stalk and some of the cellulose in the stalk to make the ethanol. That is happening on a smaller scale around the world today. But more commonly right now in the United States, we're using the kernels of corn to make ethanol. And right there, you think about that ear of sweet corn. Let me just tell you to begin with, this is not your ear of sweet corn. That is an entirely different type of corn than what we're discussing. Yeah, so we're talking about number two yellow corn here. And the whole thing is when that goes into the ethanol plant, all they're taking out of that is the starch. You have to think about that kernel as being not just starch. There's a whole bunch of other good stuff in there. There's fat, there's protein, there are vitamins. Everything else is left over. All they're pulling out is the starch. And when you stop and think about it, where does number two yellow corn typically go in the United States? It goes to animal feed, predominantly to cattle. Well, are the cattle actually using that starch? No, in a lot of cases, they're not. So here's the whole thing. When you go back just a few years, there was this talk about food versus fuel. Well, that's absolute nonsense. That's ridiculous. It should be food and fuel because what the livestock actually really need is still left after this process happens of making corn ethanol and pulling the starch out. If people want more starch, it's real easy. Just bale up some corn stalks, mix that starch in together with what's left over, the distiller's grain is what it's called, and now you're right back to 100%. So there is no food versus fuel, it's food and fuel. Well, when you take those corn kernels, crack them open, add some enzymes and water, it quickly converts that starch into sugars, which then yeast can be added to convert those sugars into alcohol. It's a very simple process. It's being used around the world with a number of crops, including corn. It's a quick and easy way to make fuel, and certainly it is a renewable fuel. It's a resource that is not going to run out, and we can make more of it each year. And just a couple other misconceptions here. Number one, a lot of people think that there's all this government subsidy going to ethanol. No, there isn't, there's none. So when you look at government subsidies, it's not needed for corn ethanol. This is a very inexpensive fuel to make. So it's great for the farmer. It's great actually for the livestock producer because the distiller's grain, the stuff that's left over after you pull the starch out, is super nutritious feed. So we all like that. And the ethanol that's made in the end is the best fuel there is. It is renewable, like Darren said, but also it's not an environmental hazard like gasoline. It's also not a cancer causer like gasoline. Well, as you're driving by cornfields out in the country, one thing I hope you don't notice is our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed? 